Now, prior to the Ethiopian government floating the bir earlier this week, parallel market rates for the currency were well over 120 to the dollar, well above the formal market rates that we're seeing even today of 75 to the dollar. So at what point and at what level might we see these two rates converge? That's why I started my conversation with Molalo Madula, a senior analyst at the Standard Bank Group. You, when you look overall into Ethiopia market, what really da makes it very difficult is that uh, the appropriate demand and supply dynamics are not yet established, particularly in light of a market's unknown FX backlog. So based on our real effective exchange rate estimation, we see the fair value as uh, likely close to about 90 so if ever the National Bank of Ethiopia were to cover the X FX backlog, uh, that is, like I have said, unknown, perhaps considering the exceptional financing that we are seeing from the IMF and also the World Bank, you could therefore expect uh, convergence to okay more or less around the le that level of around 90 rather than a one-way street with the official rate uh, rising towards the parallel rate. Uh, in the directive that they issued, the National Bank of Ethiopia noted that in order for, for them to handle the backlog of outstanding dividends, that they will permit um, I mean, the, the ones that they have permitted, but the banks have not yet paid, they are looking into specifying repayment schedule. So if this signal that the NBE, uh, National Bank of Ethiopia will handle the backlog, uh, you would be looking into a situation where, you know, the FX demand from the market uh, will be relatively low. Right. So the IMF is looking at the inflation forecast that they essentially baked into this, They're saying that, look, inflation will jump by around... 400 basis points, comparing the average for 23-24 to fiscal 24-25, which from my reading looks a bit small compared to this 30% jump that we've seen so far in the currency. But is the other way perhaps of reading this that the inflation hit might be smaller than expected because the real economy has been running on this parallel market rate of 100 plus for several years now? I mean, that is a very important question. And uh, there are many factors that are going to be in play. Of course, we have seen that the IMF is expecting inflation to average about 30.1%, and uh, that is from about 26.9% in 2023, 2024. So, of course, you are looking into an average uh, inflation forecast here, and which does not really tell a whole story. So in a way, there's a probability that the IMF is expecting inflation to rise in the early stage of the devaluation, as we did witness in 2017, maybe before we start seeing inflation uh, slowing at the conclusion of the fiscal year. But of course, uh, given that uh, the, the, a portion of the economy was already running at a parallel market rate, uh, inflation might not be uh, uh, or might not likely rise dramatically. However, there are also, like I have said, many multiple factors that are at play here, including some aspects regarding business behavior following the, the, the reforms. In addition, you're also looking into additional taxes uh, that also need to be considered. Uh, I mean, of course, the impact of or when it comes to that will be determined by the balance between income and substitution effects. And there's also the possibility of uh, uh, that the National Bank of Ethiopia will decrease monetization of the fiscal deficit. So that will therefore be less inflationary. So another uh, thing that we do need to consider is the matter that the government is also providing temporary uh, fuel and uh, fertilizer subsidies, and that will also help when it comes to the inflationary uh, uh, pressure. So overall, you might be looking into a situation where inflation increase may not ha have to be in uh, to the uh, uh, in line with the devaluation that is coming and the devaluation that we have already seen.